These are skills to have when starting your career in cybersecurity. According to this press release from the White House, the National Cyber Director is focused on creating pathways for more talent to enter the growing field of cybersecurity through skill-based hiring and earn and learn opportunities, such as apprenticeships. In 2024, more than 500,000 cybersecurity positions are currently open across the country. And this is one of the biggest shifts I've seen in the hiring practices for cybersecurity jobs and how organizations vet their job candidates. The focus towards skill-based hiring could mean more opportunity for those who are trying to break into cybersecurity without any existing cybersecurity experience or background. So what are some skills you need to get hired into cybersecurity? This is exactly what we'll be covering in this video, including SIEMs, vulnerability management, protecting sensitive data, and other highly sought after job qualifications according to the BLS. The first skill on this list is how to monitor and detect for security breaches, typically using a tool like an SIEM. This is a critical function for an information security analyst since this is essentially the frontline defense for an organization against potential cyber threats. Security Incident and Event Management Tools, or SIEMs, play a critical role in this process by gathering and analyzing data from across an organization's IT systems, including firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and antivirus programs. Using an SIEM, security analysts get a consolidated view of activity across a network, which allows them to spot any unusual patterns or potential security breaches more efficiently. This real-time visibility enables analysts to detect and respond to security incidents swiftly, helping to reduce the impact of any attack on the organization. SIEMs are especially important because they help make sense of the vast amount of security data generated daily. Without them, it will be nearly impossible for security teams to sift through logs and alerts to find potential security breaches. By using analytics and correlation rules, SIEMs identify suspicious activity that might otherwise be missed, like advanced persistent threats or zero-day exploits. For an information security analyst, knowing how to effectively use and interpret SIEM data is essential for maintaining a strong security posture and staying ahead of constantly evolving cyber threats. This portion of the video is sponsored by University of Phoenix. So you're looking to prepare for a career in cybersecurity, but not sure where to start and need something that fits into your busy life if this sounds like you, a great option is to get your cybersecurity education online through University of Phoenix. They have flexible, career-focused programs designed for working professionals with a technical cybersecurity curriculum that teaches you skills that employers are looking for. This includes their Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity, Master of Science in Cybersecurity, and even Advanced Cybersecurity Certificate and Associate's Degree options. There's likely something for you as you consider what type of education path you're looking for to get into cybersecurity. This means you can get your cybersecurity certificate or degree without putting your life on hold because you can focus on just one five to six week course at a time while balancing work and life all while learning how to prevent, investigate, and solve data breaches and other cyber attacks from experienced professionals. The University of Phoenix also offers support services like career coaching and access to a robust alumni network, which can help students build connections and explore opportunities in cyber. And because your classes are online, it allows for flexible scheduling, which makes it easier for students to balance your education and other responsibilities. You can check out University of Phoenix's cybersecurity degree program programs and certificates linked in my description below. All right, the next skill you should focus on is learning how to protect sensitive information, specifically focusing on network security and data encryption. Protecting sensitive information is a core responsibility for information security analysts, and it requires a solid understanding of both network security and data encryption techniques. Network security focuses on safeguarding the infrastructure that carries data using tools like firewalls, intrusion prevention systems, and access controls to block unauthorized access and reduce vulnerabilities. By setting up secure channels for data to be sent across a company's network, this helps prevent malicious actors from intercepting sensitive information as it moves across networks. And paired with strong access management policies, Having a strong network security foundation can help the company build a secure foundation which keeps critical data out of the wrong hands. Data encryption adds another vital layer of protection by making information unreadable to anyone who doesn't have the correct decryption key. Encryption is particularly crucial for safeguarding sensitive data, both in transit and at rest. 
ensuring that even if data is intercepted or breached, it still remains unusable to unauthorized parties. Security analysts need to understand different encryption methods and when to apply them to protect data effectively. Together, network security and data encryption form a powerful defense against cyber threats, enabling organizations to securely manage and store confidential information in today's cyber landscape. Because cybersecurity is always changing and new technology is always being released, a big part of your job is also to be researching new vulnerabilities and looking into the latest security trends. This is essential for InfoSec analysts who want to stay ahead of the latest cyber threats because there's always a chance something in the news may affect your organization or the technology your company uses. Attack methods are constantly evolving and attackers are always finding new ways to exploit weaknesses in systems and applications. By actively looking into potential vulnerabilities, you can get a jump on these risks before they're widely known, allowing you to mitigate any vulnerabilities or apply patches as needed. You need to be as proactive as possible when working in cybersecurity, so this approach is key to protecting sensitive data and maintaining a secure environment. Keeping up with security trends is just as important, especially as new technologies like AI, cloud services, and IoT create more security challenges. Following these trends can help you be prepared for what's coming next and adopt the latest best practices and leverage the best tools to defend against various different threats and vulnerabilities. This kind of continuous learning is crucial in cyber, where staying current makes all the difference in an organization's resilience against sophisticated attacks, especially when we least expect it. Okay, so now that we've covered all the technical work of a cybersecurity analyst, what's next? If you get something related to GRC, you are correct. When it comes to the non-technical side of cybersecurity, like policies and procedures, playbooks, creating SOPs or standard operating procedures, this is when it can sometimes feel a bit boring. But I personally think this is one of the areas in cybersecurity with a lot of growth opportunities. Creating security standards and best practices is a critical part of your job as an InfoSec analyst, which helps ensure there's a consistent approach to protecting the organization's data and systems. Standards provide clear guidelines for handling sensitive information, managing risks, and implementing security controls across the board. By establishing these practices, analysts make it easier for teams to follow a secure path, reducing the likelihood of vulnerabilities, and helping everyone stay compliant with industry regulations. Think of it as doing the work upfront to document various different policies and procedures to make everything else moving forward flow as it's supposed to and even help the team figure out where to make certain processes more efficient. Setting best practices is about more than just rules, it's about building a security-minded culture within the organization. As an information security analyst, you'll be developing these practices based on the latest threats and lessons learned from real-world incidents and then changing them to fit your company's specific needs and risks. Another area that you should focus on for any job is having strong soft skills based on this University of Phoenix article. This includes things like being able to work cross-functionally with other departments and being comfortable troubleshooting, educating, and collaborating with people who have other areas of expertise. As an information security analyst, I worked with different teams for various projects throughout my career, which meant I had to effectively communicate with colleagues who were non-technical like HR and sales, but also highly technical teams like engineering teams. This is a key skill that will help you move forward in your career and take on bigger and bigger projects which also translates to career progression. Another important soft skill that is often overlooked is that just being able to stay organized, whether it be meeting your deadlines, taking good notes, and making sure your deliverables are always on track. This makes you easier to work with and can also help you better manage incidents effectively, identify threats in real time, and prioritize security tasks appropriately. Don't forget about soft skills when you're looking to get into cybersecurity. They are a lot more important than you think. All right, that's it for this video. Don't forget to check out University of Phoenix cybersecurity degree programs and certificates linked in my description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to also stay connected on LinkedIn and join our community Discord channel, which are both also linked in my description, where we discuss cybersecurity career questions, share resources, and chat about all things cybersecurity. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe as it really does help out the channel. I post videos weekly and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!